Capillary action is found everywhere around us, for example, in our bodies or in trees. Capillary action is the movement of water in narrow spaces such as porous materials. For example, if you put a capillary tube in liquid, the liquid rises to a certain height depending on the surface tension and external forces such as gravity. But what is the surface tension? In the bulk of liquid, the neighboring molecules attract each other, but molecules at the surface are attracted by about half the effect in the bulk. Hence, the potential energy is about double at the surface. This excess energy per unit area is called surface tension. One major force in capillary action is adhesion, which is the attraction between liquid molecules and molecules of another substance. It is mainly involved in the interfacial tension at the surface between the liquid and that substance. If we consider a separated liquid droplet on a solid surface, which is called wetting, then the three surface and interfacial tensions, the gammas, sum to zero as vectors when they are in equilibrium. That leads to the young dobre equation. This is a small demonstration to show the capillary action. You will need two glass plates where I use the one that comes with the photo frame. You also need a container for water, I use a tray, and of course you need a liquid, which is water in this demonstration. Attach the two plates at one end, and separate them at the other end. Put these plates in water. Under the case of complete wetting, where the contact angle is zero in the young dobre equation, the resulted profile of the height y is the reciprocal of the distance from the attached ends, which is denoted by x. The height y also depends on the constant c that depends on the type of the liquid and its weight density and its surface tension. c depends on the separation angle between the two plates as well. Near the attached ends, the water rises higher as the region between the plates becomes narrower. It means less amount of water, thus less external force due to gravity against adhesion.